Everyone thinks the deadliest breast cancers are the ones that grow the fastest. And while it is true that faster growing cancers can be more problematic, that's not the only thing that matters. You see, it's also true that some tumors are much better at hiding from the immune system than others. I'm telling you this because about one in eight women in the United States will be diagnosed with invasive breast cancer at some point. So this is worth taking a moment to understand a little bit better. Now, in general, when you don't have cancer, you don't want your immune system to be just blasting your healthy cells. That would be autoimmune disease. So your body has some mechanisms to prevent that. Your normal healthy cells have a little molecule that they put up on their surface that basically says, don't attack me. So then when your immune cells come in, like your T cells, when they come patrolling along and they see your healthy cells, they see that don't attack me molecule, they recognize it and they become less active. They don't attack. And that's what you want to have happen most of the time when you don't have cancer. The problem, as you may guess from the context, is that some types of cancer cells, some types of tumors, can take advantage of that. They can have a very immune suppressive micro environment to help hide from the immune system. So what can you do about that? Well, the good news is that just over a decade ago now, there was a new cancer medicine developed called pembrolizumab. And what it does is it covers up the sensor that your T cells have, your immune cells use to recognize the don't attack me signal. So they can't see the don't attack me signal anymore. And the end result is that it kind of takes the brakes off of your immune system. So your T cells can then go in and fight off the cancer cells, which is pretty cool because it's basically just enabling your own immune system to go fight more strongly against the cancer cells. This type of medicine, there's a few different types. This one example is called pembrolizumab, but it's a broader class of molecules called immune checkpoint inhibitors. And they've improved survival for many cancers, not just breast cancer, some types of breast cancer, but many cancers that were previously very hard to treat. The American Association of Immunologists has a really cool website called Immunology Explained, with a lot of really great, easy to digest information on allergies and autoimmune diseases and cancer and cancer immunotherapies and vaccines that is actually evidence-based, if you catch my drift. 